which diet is the best diet for weight loss, for optimum health and healing? That's the question that many people ask me. Hi there, my name's Laura Rimmer. I'm a natural health nutritionist from youreternalhealth.com. I personally follow a ketogenic and alkaline diet, and I go between ketogenic, so fully keto and low carb, and that's the diet that I recommend um, to my clients and people who ask me, what is the best diet, what's the optimum diet for health, healing, sustained weight loss, energy, and all that kind of stuff. And for me, it's been a complete journey of the last 20 years, trying many, many different diets, and coaching thousands upon thousands of people over the past 10 years in my coaching practice. And I've come to conclude that the best diet is a low carb or even sometimes ketogenic on the kind of um, you know extreme end of low carb with a focus on alkaline foods as well. And why do I say that? Well, I, if you know my backstory, I've been vegan for six years. I've done high carb, low fat for many years. I went raw vegan. I've done the maker's diet, the nutritarian diet, the diet, the starch solution. Um, yeah, 80, 10, 10, so 80% carb, 10% fat, 10% protein. Um, I tried Atkins for a while. And now I tend to eat around about 80% of my calories from fat. 15% protein and 5% um, from carbohydrates. And I cycle in and out of ketosis, so that's full keto macronutrients. And I run a program called Keto Life, which takes you through how to get into healthy nutritional ketosis and um, reap the benefits of that over four weeks. Seagulls, man, are loud today. Um, but I always do low carb. So why have I settled on that diet? Well, for a number of reasons. Firstly, our bodies require two essential macronutrients, and those are, can you guess which ones? So out of the three, carbs, fats, proteins, they're your three macronutrients. Which two of those are essential? Now for me, for years, I was high carb, low fat, moderate protein. The only macronutrient out of those three which is not essential, is carbohydrates. Now as an athlete, when I was running marathons, ultra marathons, triathlons, cross country races, 10Ks, um, all that kind of stuff, then um, I felt that my body needed those carbs to perform. And in a way that's right, and in another way that's wrong, and I'll explain that. So I was on high carb, and that worked for a while, but after so many years eating high carb, I knew that my blood sugar was getting out of balance. I knew I was having spikes in insulin. I could feel these peaks and then these troughs in my energy and mental clarity. I was getting brain fog, which I wasn't experiencing before in the early stages of high carb, low fat, but that became more and more. And for me now, at almost um, age 40, um, I, as I, you know, as I kept researching, I'm always researching diet and nutrition. I saw that you can, if you eat carbs, if you just keep giving your body high carbs for years, it can take years, but eventually that will lead in metabolic syndrome and potentially type two diabetes. And most people, that doesn't manifest until they're into their forties. So me being, you know, like 37, 38, 39, I was like, hmm, I should probably think about this. So really kept digging more into the research, came across um, all of the propaganda stuff saying that saturated animal fat has been kind of demonized as a result of the, the vegetable oil industry um, uh, propaganda and profits and marketing from really the 1940s onwards, kind of after the war when the vegetable oil industry began, you know, went into its heyday and started reaping massive profits and putting those profits back into industry and marketing. The net effect of that was to demonize saturated animal fats and, um, you know, promote these vegetable oils as the best thing um, for our health. And actually, it's the complete opposite way around, as I found out as I was digging into the research. So carbohydrates are not an essential macronutrient. However, fats are, especially saturated fats and omega-3s and some omega-6s. So 
if you're considering a plant-based diet completely, a vegetarian diet, you want to know this, that a diet high in omega-6 fats is not optimum. You need to have much higher ratios of omega-3s and you need those saturated animal fats um, to carry uh, fat-soluble vitamins. So things like vitamin A, D, E, K2. K2 is a supremely important vitamin that many people are very deficient in. So if you think you can get by on just nuts and seeds, that's not going to work because that's high in omega-6 fats, which you don't want to be having too many of. So uh, protein, uh, you know, essential amino acids, if you've heard of that, we also need proteins in our diet. We don't need carbs. Um, and in actual fact, a diet that puts us into ketosis, which is high fat, moderate protein, low carb, can actually spark our body and our brain using ketones. So burning up liver, uh, burning up fat in the liver, turning that those fat cells in our body and fat from our, you know, our dietary fat into these ketones, which are a, a superior fuel source. So they're kind of like the equivalent of rocket fuel for your body and brain, as opposed to just you know, regular kind of low grade fuel, um, which carbohydrates are. So that was my switch to a uh, high fat, low carb or low carb, high fat diet and going in and out of ketosis. Now, the other angle that I very much include in my diet is a focus on alkaline foods. So we're talking chlorophyll rich foods, dark leafy greens, fiber rich foods, and the purpose of this on a keto and low carb diet is to optimize it, to prevent any symptoms of things like keto flu and to give you the fiber to keep you know, your digestion good, regular, um, but most importantly to give your body um, and brain those electrolyte alkaline minerals that it needs. So potassium, calcium, magnesium and sodium. And again, most people are very deficient in those four things. So that's my view on it. Um, the best optimum diet for you, for your health, for healing, for weight loss is a low carb alkaline diet or a ketogenic and alkaline diet. And you know, don't take my word for it. Look at the work of people like Professor Tim Noakes, Professor Thomas Seafried, Professor Stephen Finney and Eric Westman, who um, have got countless clinical studies to show that their patients have healed type 2 diabetes, even cancer, if you look at Thomas Seafried's work, um, and heart disease, and, you know, I mean, I myself have got lots of clients who've lost a ton of weight following a ketogenic diet. One guy I've worked with has lost 100 pounds in eight months um, on a keto diet. So if you're interested in finding out more, do grab my free keto and alkaline foods list. You can get that at ketolifetime.com and uh, join my next keto alkaline five day challenge, which I do intermittently throughout the year. And if you want to really immerse yourself in this and have a full four week meal plan, uh, which is going to allow you to lose weight and, you know, really get into nutritional ketosis in a healthy way, avoid all the negative sides of it, keto flu and that kind of stuff. And and experience the real um, the real benefits and blessings of a ketogenic and alkaline diet, then you're welcome to join my Keto Life coaching program with weekly coaching calls for me, 80 short videos in a members area, and a full recipe book and meal plan for four weeks. So again, I'm Laura Rimmer. Good to speak to you. Thanks for listening and watching. And um, I'll catch you again in the next video. And start your journey with me by downloading your keto and alkaline foods list at ketolifetime.com. See you soon.